One of the basic functions of any forms processing program is the ability to print to paper, create Mismo XML, and PDF files. With Appraiser Pro, we've made it easier than ever. To print to paper, go to the Home menu in the ribbon and click Print. The Print dialog will appear and show you the current makeup of your appraisal report. With this page and addenda listing box on the left, you have the option of selecting and deselecting pages in your report for printing and rearranging their order. To print a page or addendum, ensure its box is checked. To exclude it, uncheck the checkbox. Unchecking a box will not remove it from the report file, it'll simply exclude it from being printed. If you wish to change the order of the printed pages, you can do so by selecting a page, and then using these up and down icons to move it within the report. Once again, this will not change the order in which it appears in the report file, just its print order. Your order and checkbox selections will, however, be saved with the report so you can always know what you printed or sent to a lender. Selections here will also carry over if you create a PDF or MISMO XML. On the right, you have some basic printer options, including a pull down to select your printer, a selection for page size, and the number of copies of the report to print. There's also a checkbox to collate the pages. Collating means that the report prints will be grouped together in proper order like this when printed. By default, this is checked. Under options, there's a number of selections with corresponding checkboxes. Combine extended comments, which is checked by default, will boil down all of the different extended comment sections to save pages, like this. Unchecking this box will put each extended comment section on its own page. Show file and case number will overlay these labels onto the word processing and PDF addenda in the upper right corner, just like it is on other pages of the report. Check for validation errors will ensure your report is checked one last time by the report validator for formatting and math errors, and will make sure all text will fit within the lines and boxes on the report. And finally, number pages will place the page number at the bottom of your printed pages. Once everything is set to your liking, click print. Creating a PDF file of your report is quite similar to printing to paper. In fact, the icon is right next to print in the home menu. When you click save PDF, the save PDF dialog will appear. Editing the print order and pages to be printed is exactly the same as printing to paper, so we'll skip over that. On the right under the PDF section, you can set the location where the PDF will be saved by browsing to it. Just click on the file folder icon. You also have options for viewing the PDF in your default PDF viewer after creation and a setting to compress the images in the PDF to reduce its final size. The JPEG quality setting is a number between 1 and 100. The higher the number, the better the image quality will be. Of course, with higher image quality comes a trade-off of a larger file size. 60 is a good compromise number, so it's set to default. Down below the Options section, which is identical to the same section in the Paper Printing dialog, is the Security section. These two options allow you to apply a password to the PDF to restrict opening it, editing it, or both. Once you're ready, just click Save to create the PDF. Finally, let's take a look at exporting a report to Mismo XML and Appraise It Pro. To begin, in the Home menu, click Create Mismo. As before, the page selection and ordering process is the same, so we'll skip over it. On the right under Mismo, there's a browse box to give the file a name and a location, much the same way as we did with the PDF dialog. Below that, you can select which version of Mismo XML you wish to save. In most cases, you can just leave this on the default setting. If you've been directed to by your client, however, you can save to another version. The PDF section below is identical to the one found in the Save PDF dialog and applies to the PDF that will be both embedded in the Mismo XML and saved separately alongside it. The Options section is also the same as the Printing and PDF dialogs that we've already covered. When ready, just click Save. That's it. 
If you need help or have any questions, email us at training at sfrep.com or give our tech support a call seven days a week at 800-644-4051. Thanks for watching and as always, thanks for being an SFREP customer.